Hi, Film Addicts. Welcome to the show. Today, we're going to talk about the top five silver stocks to look into and check out some of these, these um, elements. So we've never talked about silver or gold too much, but um, because um, there is a strong demand for the uses of silver. And um, so I just want to get your mind starting to think like electric cars, solar panels, electronics, and um, this is a precious metal and industrial asset. So people are kind of looking at silver because it, it it went up um, last uh, Monday. So, and I don't know if you're on Reddit or um, Reddit day traders or, um, so a lot of people were talking about GameStop. And um, so we want to look at silver stocks. So people are like, well, what silver stocks do I look at? Well, there's so many. Once again, you got to do your own due diligence, talk to your own stock broker. And um, we're not a licensed broker. And this is just educational and fun. So some people like I share silver trust. So that's on the New York Stock Exchange. And the stock symbol is SLV. Because why am I saying I share silver trust? because it's been up by 15%. So um, then there's another one, Silver Corpse Metals, New York Stock Exchange, SVM. And it's been up over 17%. And remember, um, by the time I do this podcast, it might be days, weeks, months before I'm reporting this news. So you remember always the day, the week, the month, and the time that you buy stocks is different from anyone else. So it could be up or down um, at the time you're buying it. So um, so a lot of people like Core Mining Inc. That's C-O-E-U-R, Core Mining Inc., C-D-E, stock symbol. There's Gatos Silver Inc. I like that one because Gatos, I believe, is, is meow, cat. So G-A-T-O, that's just such a girl thing. Avino Silver and Gold Mines LTD. I do like that one because there's silver and gold in that mine. So you, uh, it's kind of like a two for one sale. You get both in there. That's um, ASM and First Majestic Silver Corp AG. So let's just talk about maybe like, okay, First Majestic Silver Corp AG. Why? Because it's majestic. So this is a silver mining company and, and its operations are in Mexico. And it has seven production production mine. So active, there's seven mines. And uh, First Majestic Silver Mining Company produces and sells its own bullion rounds and bars. Isn't that cool? Gold bullion. They're so beautiful. And I highly recommend listening to um, the the frequencies and energies of music. Like I love the frequency 396 and there was a gold bullion um, bar in the um, Music, so nice. Um, so get that good energy in. And let's see. Um, so it's it's trading at this day and time, maybe around $20. And it's been up over 20% since the last week. So so that's very, very interesting. So do check out your um your uh your due diligence to see if that's something interesting to you. So let's see, Gato Silver Inc or G-A-T-O, ticker symbol. So this one is based in the USA, Colorado. And um, they do precious metals productions. And they also are exploration company. And their main focus is silver. And the company's stock price has been up since 150%. And it I it IPO'd in October. So um, this is why I'm trying to get all this stuff to you. So if you can please donate to the channel anything, a dollar, five dollars to buy me coffee sneakies. My PayPal is uh, anonymous content, or you can directly um, send it to me at petcarebuddies at gmail.com, friends and family, so um, I, I can get the money, so I can get the research and get the information to you faster. So let's see, um, what else? So that's very interesting. And it said in 2020, uh, Gatos Mining has produced 4.2 million silver ounces. Whoa, that's um, that's a lot of lot a lot of bullion. Okay, so Core, Core Mining Inc. CDE 
And that's spelled C-O-E-U-R. Cooler. Okay. And it's also USA based in Illinois. It's a precious metal mining company. And they do operate out of five mines across North America. And it also mines for gold and zinc. So silver, gold, and zinc, which I like precious metals like that. So um, it said the stocks skyrocketed about 18% plus. And um, so it's very interesting. So uh, that's why I mentioned that one, um, because there's a lot of research. There's just so many of them. So you just got to pick the ones you like and just, you know, pull the trigger on what you like. And remember, do your own due diligence. You're the only one responsible for your gain or loss in the stocks. Everything's risky. And they're saying like, you know, we're coming out of COVID, but like um, the, uh, the middle class was just completely crushed. Small businesses were completely crushed, like destroyed forever. Remember, forever and ever. Some people got the PPL loans, so they're floating. They're floating on their loans. But there's like the Arclight Theater in Hollywood is closed forever. Um, it, it, people had to re and reinvent things and see which thing, what what businesses survived and what businesses are going to continue to survive and what businesses are so obsolete or so up, up, outdated and that can't compete. And like corporations are just on fire. Because they have the manpower, the resources, and the finances. So, you know, small businesses, so many have been wiped out and will never open up again. So please do your due diligence. Um, some people are pulling their money out of the stock markets. Some people are, you know, just not playing with the stock markets. And some people are, you know, trading and stuff. So do what makes sense for you. Um, you know, a lot of people are trained to like, buy and hold for many, 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 many years and not worry about the dips, the highs and lows and just just hold on for the long haul. Some people like day trading. Some people like, you know, um, crypto only now. Some people like this. Some people like that. Some people like real estate. Some people like their own businesses. Some people just it just depends on your your age, your time, your day, your your goals, your plans, your your direction with your funds. So our Avena Silver and Gold Mines, remember I like this one because it was silver and gold mines, they specialize in producing silver and um, they also have gold and other uh, metal properties and the company is in Mexico. Um, I might have told you about this one, so sorry about that. So, um, and I told you about First Majestic. Let me, let, I always like telling you a little bit more. Here's some that like, um, uh, some that are, are interesting. Kuya silver. K-U-Y-A. Kuya silver. So it's even in the o, over-the-counter uh, exchange OTC, which is called uh, Kuyaf. K-U-Y-A-F. So there's two ticker symbols. K-U-Y-A. Kuya. And Kuyaf. K-U-Y-A-F. And why this one? It's a new new listing. And... um. It has a Bethina silver mine located in central Peru. So um, silver zinc lead belt in central Peru, and they produce high-grade silver ore, lead, and zinc. Um, and they've been producing this stuff for over 40 years. So that's why that one's interesting. I like that it's been around for 40 years. Okay, Helica Mining, HL. This has been around since 1891 and is the oldest pressure metal mining company listed on the New York Stock Exchange. So Helica, H-E-C-L-A, mining, H-L. So uh, if anybody ever wants out the written descriptions, you have to be a patron sponsor. You just absolutely have to. Like it takes so much time and research and to just write all this stuff down. That is just like, uh, I will never be able to go out in the sun and play and have fun. And I just cannot write that down for free. Sorry. So you're just going to have to just listen to the podcast. And I try to repeat things to help you guys um, get what I'm saying easiest as possible. Um, so this helicom mining company is responsible for one third of all silver produced in the United States and is the largest civil reserve and resource in the country. Oh, my gosh. And in um, in the second quarter of 2020, Helicom Mining produced 3.4 million ounces of silver and 59 something, 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 something ounces of gold. Woo! And it had 24% higher revenue over the year period. 
I just, I did some gold that um, Warren Buffett did and it's gone nowhere, but this helica mining, and I wish I would have researched it because I would have definitely invested in this one. And it uh, operates mines in the USA, which uh, the states are Nevada, Idaho, Alaska, and also has mines in Mexico and Canada. I really like this helica mining, but you got to like what you like. Uh, I told you, let's see, uh, Fortuna Silver Mine. Some people have been talking about this one. It is a Canadian precious metal mining company with operations in Peru, Mexico, and Argentina. Uh, Pan American Silver. So um, this one is P A A S. It has nine mining operations across North and South America. And let's see. Um, so so that one could be very interesting. So those are some of my favorites. And of course, I'm going to give you a little bit more like. You're like, well, which ones now? Which ones now are good in 2020? Well, you just still got to like just see what's good for you. Um, you know, because silver is both industrial metal and it is also a precious metal. It's used from everything. Like I said, it's even used in photography. Remember electronics and jewelry and um, and people say, oh, gold and silver and precious metals are usually a safe haven safe haven in times of, you know, economic turmoil. And it's, it's a hedge against inflation. And um, so you want to look at which silver company you like. Do you like that their acquisition, exploration, development, production? Sounds kind of like oil, right? <laughs> and, um, and do you want these companies to mine other metals besides silver, such as zinc, lead, copper, and gold, which I like when they have others. And, and so... Some other big names that I did not mention are Wheaton Precious Metals Corp. Wheaton, W-H-E-A-T-O-N, Precious Metals Corp. W-P-M, I told you about Helicom Mining Corp. Then, this is a new one I haven't told you about, SSR Mining Inc. So I'll repeat it again, SSR Mining Inc. So the ticker symbol is SSRM. And um, let's see. Uh, you know, you can, uh, you can look at silver stocks such as, um, this one is very interesting, Global X Silver Miners ETF. So some of you like the ETFs and this is SIL and they have outperformed the market for the last year and a total return of over, over 107% and some change because, you know, by the time you listen to this, it could change up or down. And, um, people are like, well, are there any best valued silver stocks? Well, um, you know, so you want you want something with dividends, buybacks, and a low price to equity ratio. So you'll be paying less for for um, each profit generation. So some people say Fortuna Silver Mines, the price is around nine dollars, market cap one point seven, and the tra trailing twelve month PE ratio is sixty four. Pan American Silver Corp, that was the PAAS, uh, price is around forty one. And some change market cap 8.7 12 month trailing p price to equity ratio is 37 and something silver corp metals inc price is 6.6 .6, market cap 1.2 and tra uh, the p price to equity ratio is uh, like 19 point something so um so let's just see again i'll recap a couple of them fortuna silver mines is a canadian-based mining company um you know it it it's in Latin America. It does silver mining. It operates with silver, lead, zinc, and gold. And um, let's see, its net income fell like to around 9% and the sales grew 8.5. So the lower net income is because of, I guess, the higher tax expense um, compared to the other years. So Pan American Silver Corp also a Canadian-based mining company, and it also does silver, gold, lead, copper, zinc, and they also do like, you know, extraction, processing, exploration, rec reclamation, reclamation, and refining. So it does a lot of that. Silver Corpse Metal um, is also a Canadian-based mining company. And, um, and let's see, um, their net income rose 41%. And uh, boosted, uh, you know, it looks very interesting. And you're like, okay, well, if those three all seem to be in Canada, the the best valued silver stock, supposedly, and the opinions of the research, 
you know, there's many research, like you can go to Yahoo, Motley Brothers, Investopedia. There's just so many. You just got to just research and research and just see what's good. So some of the fastest growing silver stocks, um, Silver Corp Metals, Fortuna Silver Mines, First Majestic Silver Corp. So see if any of those are interesting to you. Silver stocks with the most momentum, Global X Silver Miners, Russell 1000, First Majestic Corp, Fortuna Silver Mines, Endeavor Silver Corp. So um, the, the list goes on and on and on. But um, so hopefully those will give you enough encouragement to do your own due diligence to see if you like silver, gold, precious metals, and see what um, if you want to hedge your bets on stocks um, that you have. And, um, and, you know, if you have some crypto, you want just a balance in your portfolio. So it's up to you. And thank you for listening. And once again, if you could donate to the podcast, anything a dollar, five dollars, really, really appreciate it. Buy me coffee, sneakies. Thanks so much. Even if you could just simply hit the five stars and give us a nice review to encourage us to keep going. Really appreciate it. Thank you for making us top 10% global podcast. Thank you so much. Um, I try to bring you guys the best speakers. And it takes a lot of time to coordinate and get the guests on the show. But the guests, please do listen to the guest um, episodes. They're fantastic. And these people are actually, it's their job and their career. And um, I hope those stories are inspiring to you. And we have more awesome guests on the way. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a fantastic week.